What is up everybody? This is Ronnie from Canva and welcome to another one of our tutorials special CCC edition. Today I'm very happy because I have someone who has been on the show before. Her name is Diana, Diana Munoz. Uh, she's one of our CCCs. She's from Colombia but actually lives in Sydney and today Diana is going to teach us something very special. So Diana, are you here? What are you going to teach us today? Hello Ronnie and hello everyone. Thank you so much for inviting me once again here to the show. I'm super excited and today uh, what I would like to teach you guys is four different ideas on how to use the Duotone effect or the Duotone app inside Canva. So here I have my four ideas. So the first one is that I'm going to teach you how to change the color of your logos. So for example, here I have the Canva Certified Creative logo, which uh, it is blue. But because the image in the background is also blue, uh, I think it's kind of difficult to see this one. So I'm going to teach you how to change the colors, in this case, to white. Super simple. It's going to take uh, just a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to teach you how to create shadows. After that, I'm going to teach you how to create the silhouette effect. This uh, outline that we see on many of the YouTube thumbnails. And finally, I'm going to teach you how to create this kind of like a collage effect with the duotone effect. All right, that sounds great, Diana, to deep dive into what you can do with the duotone effect. I'm really looking forward to this. So Diana, the floor is yours. Go ahead and teach us. Okay, so the first effect here is that I have my blue logo, okay? So in this case, I just go to the effects button and I have here the duotone effect or the duotone app. If you don't have this app installed yet, it will appear like these apps here. So you just click on the duotone app and click on connect. After a couple of seconds, it will be installed in your Canva and you can preview all the different uh, Duotone effects here. In this case, we don't need uh, to browse through all these colors because I know that I want my logo to be completely white. So I can just click on any of these uh, options and you see here that it appears an icon, kind of like a settings icon. Uh, so I'm going to click again and you will see here two different colors, highlights and shadows. So I'm going to change this color by just clicking on top of the color on this square and I'm going to move this color picker to white. So to the uh, upper left corner, you see here that the hex code is uh, three times F. This is what I'm looking for. And then the shadows, I'm going to do exactly the same. You need to see this uh, hex code here, uh, only F. <laughs> and then you click on apply. So this was all, this is everything. You just wait a couple of seconds until this um, effect applies on your logo. And that's it, you have your logo in pure complete white. <laughs> Let's go to the shadow effect. So how do you do this? I'm going to create a new page for this example. I'm going to use uh, one of my photos. So this is my selected photo for this example. And I'm going to remove uh, the background first. So this remove uh, background remover is available only for Canva Pro. So the paid accounts, I'm going to click here in order to remove my background uh, kind of like magic. <laughs> it's gonna take just a couple of seconds. And then after that, I'll be able to work with this image in order to create the shadow. Okay, so I have my image ready and I'm going to crop here uh, on the top so I don't have all this empty space and just a little bit here on the left. Okay, so I'm going to uh, duplicate my image, clicking here, and I'm going to do the same effect. I'm going to click here on the effect button, and I'm going to select any of the duotone effects twice. <laughs> so this is the second time, and I'm going to change the colors instead of white to black. So highlights and shadows to black. 
In this case, it will be the hex code uh, six times zero. Then apply, and I'm going to wait a couple of seconds until this effect is completely uh, applied. You see that here all the effects effects kind of like uh, go and come back again. It takes just a couple of seconds, you see? So after that, you can uh, work on this image. So I'm going to um, go to the adjust button and I'm going to add just a tiny bit of uh, this blur effect. I think 10 can be okay. If you're not happy with this uh, configuration, you can always come back here and uh, adjust the settings. And then uh, after that, I also like to add some transparency. I'm going to add transparency so the shadow is not so hard and it looks kind of like a more aesthetic, I would say. So you see here, I'm going to leave it like, like this, 27, I think it looks okay. And then afterwards, of course, I'm going to position this shadow to the back. So it is as simple as that. Maybe I will move it just a tiny bit uh, more to the um, left and a little bit uh, to the bottom. So sometimes you have the light on top of you so the shadow will be at the bottom and on, on the lateral. And now what I'm going to do is to reduce this view uh, just a little bit because as you can see here, my arm, it looks kind of like a cut. <laughs> so I prefer not to show this part of the photo and I'm just going to uh, increase the size of my picture and remove the part of my arm that is not complete. So this is the shadow effect and I'm going to go to the next uh, effect that I want to show you. This is the silhouette effect and I'm going to create again a new page. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to copy this image. Let's uh, right click, copy and then paste. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this layer once again and I'm going to work with the duotone effect. I'm going to do the same uh, exercise. I'm going to create um, again like a white layer. So highlights and shadows will go to white. If you prefer, you can also use a different color on this outline or this silhouette. In this case, I would like to work with white, so uh, I think that's okay. I'm going to position this layer, the white layer, on top of my image and then backward. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to stretch this image uh, so it goes, so it is bigger than the original image. And then I'm going to work on it. So it kind of like a starts, a, we can start seeing the outline behind our photo. And here we have a little trick because as you can see, uh, the outline doesn't look even. So I need to do something extra here. I'm going to duplicate this uh, layer, the white layer, and I'm going to position it on top. But I see that I'm missing uh, just kind of like uh, the uh, outline on my arms. So I will need just this part to show. So I'm going to crop here because I think the, the head is already looking fine. The head and the neck. So I'm going to just uh, use this part and position it backwards and maybe crop this side. I think I just want to create this part of the outline and then I'm going to duplicate again this layer and I'm going to work on this little part of the image that I'm missing. Okay, so I'm going to cut this side. I think this can work. Let's position this one back and I'm going to move it like this. I'm using my uh, arrows in the keyboard to move this 
layer a little bit more precisely. So here I have my silhouette. And lastly, I'm going to teach you how to create this collage effect. Okay, I'm going to add a new page and let's delete this image. I'm going to show you the full process, the complete process. Okay, so I'm going to use my photo, I'm going to insert it into the page and I'm going to add the effect. Um, I think it's mustard, yes, this one. I'm going to use the colors that Canva is offering me here because I really like them. So let's apply. And next what I'm going to do is to upload again or insert again my picture. So this is the second time I inserted, but this time I will use, as you can see here, a pink duotone. So let's go to effects once again. And I think I use this fuchsia duotone. Let's apply. You need to click here on apply every time. If not, the effect kind of like a pops out and um, doesn't apply to the photo. Uh, next, I'm going to use an element. Here you go to frames and I'm going to use an asymmetrical circle. Let's say I think this adds uh, some style or something cool to the effect. I'm going to make this uh, frame big and then I'm going to position it back and now I'm going to move my photo so it goes into the frame. So I'm going to make sure that this image is right on top of the uh, background photo but I think uh, we need to move it just a tiny bit like you can see here this line is not perfectly aligned so I need to work on it so it looks really good uh, when you are working on uh, your designs you need to be very very precise so the if effects look very cool so i think i need to make this image just a tiny bit bigger and then as you can see uh, canva is helping me here the image is a little bit uh, transparent so i can work with it and position it to the perfect place I think this is better. Yes, this is looking much better. Now what I'm going to do is to add my text. So I wrote collage effect. Going to text and select any of these. Let's click here. And I'm going to write collage. Okay, I'm going to use the font Horizon. And then I'm going to make sure that this text goes uh, into this um, circle that I just created. And actually, I'm going to use Horizon Outline for the collage. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. Ah, actually, before this, I see that this uh, font is white but I want to use the same yellow that we used into this design so it looks more cohesive. So I'm going to click here and as you can see uh, here on the, this color palette, we see the photo colors or the colors that appear on our images. So it is really easy for me to uh, go with the perfect colors. I'm going to select this yellow and then I'm going to hold the key Alt and drag this uh, text box and I'm going to do the same below. So we have like this nice effect and I'm going to do it once again and I'm going to change the text to effect and I'm going to change this font for horizon. Okay, so I think we are missing just two uh, little items, which is uh, I go to elements and I'm going to type flowers. And here I have the flower that I used for this design. I'm going to position it uh, here on this corner and I'm going to change the color to the yellow that we have been using. So 
the design looks even uh, more cohesive. Okay, so I think uh, it was this one. Yes, this yellow. And finally, I would love to use this um, kind of like a dust effect into my design so it looks even, even better. So what I did is that I'm going to my homepage in Canva and I'm going to the templates uh, page. I'm going exactly uh, to the um, business card, I think it is the one that I use. This is just a little trick that I want to show you guys. Here, uh, you see this uh, fish bar, fishy <laughs> element or template. I'm going to click here and I'm going to use this template. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to use this uh, pattern or texture effect and I'm going to copy this element and then I'm going back to my design and paste it here. So it is here and I just need to make it bigger so it looks nice on my design and I'm going to reduce the transparency just a tiny bit. So it is not like too much and if I want I can also change the color of this element to yellow okay so I'm going to increase a little bit the transparency and that's everything uh, I hope that you really really liked these um, ideas on how to use the duotone effect I think this can bring your designs to another whole level and of course, I think this is also a strong trend that is going on nowadays. And I hope that you guys start applying it right now after watching this tutorial. Thank you, Diana, for these four tips. They were very cool. And I'm sure people would have learned from you on how to use the duotone effects. Uh, that was pretty cool. I also loved the design you came up with. Very trendy. So spot on. Thank you, Diana. Um, tell us, where can people learn more about you? I've heard you have a bunch of tutorials there where can people follow you and learn more about your work yes for sure you can find me on youtube in our channel called design with canva or on instagram where i also share some ideas and tips and tricks uh, you can find me as diana munoz all right thank you diana go check her out on instagram and on youtube for a bunch more tutorials out there and that's our show for this week. Once again, this was Ronnie. You were with Diana, one of our CCCs. That is a wrap. And uh, all I have to do now is to wish you a very creative week. I will see you in the next video.